Hello and welcome my wonderful people. Big stories this morning. Presidential poll, tribunal to consider PDP, Labour Party's live broadcast request. On today's day, presidential election petition tribunal on Tuesday gave an indication that it would consider the prayer of the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party's demand for a live broadcast of its proceedings. The tribunal presided over by Justice Haruna Tamani asked the parties in the ongoing petitions to settle and decide on their objections, including the motion on notice filed by the PDP and East Standard Bearer Atiko Abubakar, requesting for the live broadcast of the presidential tribunal proceedings, which began on Monday. Meanwhile, Tamini gave the directive during Tuesday's hearing when the matter was raised by counsel for the PDP and Atiko Chris Uche San. While speaking at the resumed pre hearing section, the head of the five man panel assured that the application for a live broadcast of the proceedings will definitely be considered together with other issues. On today is the PDP and Atiko in an application dated May 5th accused that television or televising the course setting will enhance transparency and boost citizens' confidence in the judicial process. The PDP and Atiko are challenging the victory of the president elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the February 25th presidential election on the ground that the Independent National Electoral Commission failed to electronically uh, upload the election result as of the time the winner was declared. The respondent in the petition marked CAPEPC 2023 are uh, the INEC. Tenebu and the APC. Oh, my, fellow, my fellow Nigerians, also the Labour Party and East Standard uh, Biara, Peter Obi, claimed that uh, the East Lagos State Governor did not uh, secure at least one quarter of the vote to cast in the election in the federal capital territory Abuja. It has been that uh, the leading and uh, the leadership crisis hit a PCO zoning of uh, Senate President Speaker. All right, that has been onto this matter. As the zoning crisis in the All Progressive Congress APC has taken a new tone, the stakeholders singing this content tone as the various zones marked or uh, makes a fresh demand on the party hierarchy. The APC National Working Committee on Monday zoned the state or the senior presidency of the forthcoming 10th National Assembly to the South South and the speakership of the House of, of a Representative to the Northwest. The party also zoned the deputy Senate presidency to the Northwest and deputy speak person or spoke a speakership to the southeast. All right, on this note, it also be especially the party adopted the zoning uh, template and the candidate of his uh, president elect as Wajibola Metinubu and they settled for senators Godwin Abbabio, Babio Jubrin for Senate leadership and the uh, Massa Abris. All right, that has been onto this matter. It was indeed the thinking of some of us so that uh, anyone from the zone to which a particular office has been allocated can contest. We do not, we did it not, uh, we want to situation where position will be given to individuals. This was why we also advised that there should be further consultation said an aggrieved member who did not want his name mentioned for fear of possible repercussions. He expressed concern that other aggressive contendants, particularly the House of Representatives, would team up to produce a formidable position to the adopted candidate, Tajuddin Abbas. All right, that has been all to this one. Without wasting much of your time, my fellow Nigerian, well, drop your comment right in the comment section as uh, Ayotala reacts to Adeleke's Supreme Court victory. Former Ogun Governor Abu Ayodye 
Ayatole has accepted the ruling of the Supreme Court, which uh, uphold the election of Senator Adamola Adeleke as governor of the state. Niger News earlier reported that the S that, that the Apex Court on Tuesday affirmed that Deleke, who was the candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the July 6, 2022 national election as the Oshun governor. The five-member panel of the Supreme Court, led by Justice John Okoro, uploaded and uh, upheld the ruling of the Court of Appeal, which affirmed that Deleke as governor of Oshun State. In the judgment read by Justice Emmanuel Ajim, the Apex Court held that uh, Oyotala failed to adduce enough evidence to prove his allegation of overvoting in the July 16, 2022 governorship poll. While writing in a statement he personally signed, Oyotala said although the verdict of the Apex Court was against the wish of his party's member, and supporters he accepted it is in the interest of peace and development of the state he said well his well reason bait we strongly believe we presented a good case before the supreme court but the court thought otherwise and has given his verdict why the outcome is against our wish and that of our party members and supporters we are he said all bound to accept it as law abiding citizens all right my fellow nigerians well them have a take on this matter because a lot of nigerians are really saying their mind to those who the judgment favor today our judiciary is not corrupt but if tomorrow they we are not uh, favored or they are not favorite then we call our judiciary names you see as long as this news is concerned that always being the system of APC, lost the small and gained the bigger seat, less weight, and uh, that will definitely come out in the presidential election judgment. All right, very good speech from former Governor Ayotala. Uh, does he have any other choice? Case closed. All right, I hope Ocean Judiciary will be replicated in the presidential election. Of course, that is what Nigerians used a little waiting for. Justice Haruna Tamani, may you live long. This is a very strong step at start. The step is a sign of New Nigeria by Obi. All right, tomorrow you will be hearing Haruna has tilled your mandate all day. All right. Okay, my fellow Nigerians, what more are we going to say? I know tomorrow people will already talk against this result. As Oshun State uh, Judiciary have given their verdict in favor of the right man. So shall we all glamouring for the same at the Supreme and the Pace uh, Court to say their mind, trifle mind, the mind of the people in the fourth uh, coming swearing in okay what are they hiding that let them broadcast it live it will help us all and those that are ignorant of a new nigeria it is true all right thank you very much mr king silly is the nearly thank you for your take what are they hiding they should please make it public go live let people know what is happening and that has been my take as long as this is concerned. To win in the FCT is the most important for the presidential race, even if the person didn't win in a single state. APC is very matured. If it were opposition parties, they will be swear black dress to Supreme Court in protest. All right, let me have your take right comment section. If you don't accept the Supreme Court's judgment, then go and commit. Okay, uh, we should keep our straight, uh, our comment straight. You or your tele thoughts, you can rule through the back door. Not possible. God and his people does not want you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Concerned Citizens. Well, that has been the talk of the day without wasting much of your time. It has been that uh, the parties aside, time has come to let you know that uh, the interests of the masses must be most so paramount without any restriction or discrimination whether based on political persuasion greed or religion whatever personal differences we have must we must give out or give way to the advancement of our great state the security of Oshun state must be guaranteed regardless of their religious and political afflictions i pray for peace and progress in in your tenor. All right, let me have a terrorist comment section as it has been on this matter. Thank you for joining us and remember to 
share share and get more updates thanks and god bless